We do have the opportunity to test for the mite load in, in the beehive, and it was actually discovered by a research student up in Nebraska, at the University of Nebraska, just by accident. But if we put a sample of bees into a jar and apply a couple tablespoons of powdered sugar and close those bees in with it's a screened lid uh, and roll it around, the, the, the inner dust of the powdered sugar causes the bees to groom themselves and the bees also become quite heated. We turn that jar over and shake it, shake out the powdered sugar, the bees stay inside and the mites will release from the bees and we can count how many mites are in that sample of bees and it's, it's really a fun little test to do. They're parasites, and so they suck the juices out of the bees, and in that process they also inject viruses to, into the bees so they would weaken their immune system. And many times we can look into a hive and see bees with deformed wings that will never fly, and they will die, and they just crawl around, and that is a very good indication that, that we might have a high mite load and not only uh, mechanically that the mites cause this, these deformed wings, but there is what the, is called the deformed wing virus, and so they can inject that into the bees also. Um, if I find that I have a high mite load, then I really should treat the bees or I will lose them. And one of, what I like to do is a natural means, and I will also uh, sprinkle powdered sugar on the bees in the beehives and that will cause mites to fall off. It's not a hundred percent but it's natural and um, I've been doing this for five years. I'm quite pleased with uh, the health of my beehives and it's a lot of work but um, it's, it's something that some of us do to try to avoid uh, chemicals in the bees. A really fun thing to do is when you're testing for mites on the bees is to do it around Halloween and you throw the bees into the air and they're all white and so they look like ghost bees and that's really fun.